Hi, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about Class Notebook. It is this really cool connection between OneNote, which is a fantastic note-taking app, kind of like a digital notebook, and Microsoft Teams, where your class lives. And it creates this really rich collaborative notebook that everybody can work in and everybody has their own private space in. And so in this video, we'll talk all about the different sections of the notebook, what you can put in it, and some tips for making it happen. So whenever you set up Microsoft Teams for a classroom, you will have a class notebook created in it. In the general channel, there is a tab up at the top for class notebook. And when you click on it, you will find that the class notebook has three main sections. It has a collaboration space. This is a place where you can add pages that everyone can work on. The teacher can work on them, the students can work on them. Everybody has edit access in the collaboration space. You have a content library. A content library is something that the teacher can only add to, where you can add things like a syllabus, like reading assignments, and different things that students only get view access to. And then you've got the student space and there's student space made up for every single student. And that's just a place where they can create pages that the student individually can see and the teacher can see, but nobody else can see. And so by having all of those different spaces within the notebook, it gives us kind of a one-stop shop for the entire class to be able to do work together and to be able to do work individually. Now what you'll also see in class notebook is that you have a way of organizing all of your content. You have entire, um, you have entire notebooks and within each notebook you have sections which are kind of like tabs inside of a binder. And then you can add individual pages inside of each one. So you have notebooks and then sections and then pages. And so by um, organizing them in that way, you can make sure that you put things in the right place so you can go find it. Now, if you haven't checked already, you will notice that in Microsoft Teams, as I mentioned earlier, you do have that tab up at the top of your general channel. And so by either clicking on that tab or by opening your class notebook inside of OneNote, either way, you should be able to access that class notebook. I've found that you have much more functionality when you open it through OneNote, but if it's handy just to go glance at something inside of Teams, it's sitting there waiting for you. So what can you do inside of class notebook? Well, if you go into a page and you start adding content to it, there are a lot of things that you can add. For instance, you can add tables, you can add individual files, you can add printouts of PowerPoint slides, pictures, you can add online videos that you can click to play right there on the page. You can add links to websites, you can record audio, you can add meeting details from your calendar, you can even add math equations and even fun little stickers. And of course you have the ability to annotate or draw right on top of your page with the draw menu. And within that draw menu, you can even customize the kind of pens and pencils and highlighters that you want, and you can change their different colors. And you can even add uh, shapes. You can use a ruler to draw more precise lines. It's really pretty versatile. And so when students are using this, this is a great way to take a picture of something important, maybe a page in a book, and then do a little annotation on top of it. You can even add a video that you might wanna go back and watch later with some notes from that video. The neat thing about OneNote and Class Notebook is that everything's all integrated together and is still you know, clickable and usable right there on the page. So what can we do inside of all of these individual sections? Well, for one, in the collaboration space, this is a great place to do collaborative notes where you have one document where everybody can add something to it. It's a great place to manage group projects, to have class planning spaces, and even to do brainstorming sessions. The content library is a great place for you to add articles to read. If you need to put up a class syllabus or a classroom management plan, keep permission slips. You can even take pictures of the whiteboard, you know, the actual physical whiteboard in your classroom. If you've taken a bunch of notes up there and you want students to be able to refer to it later. 
And then the individual student spaces. This is a great place where students are able to do their own work, take their own personal notes, make their own planning spaces, and even have something like an improvement plan or a vision board. And they can keep that all in one place where just you and the student can see it. So as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to class notebook. A lot of places where you and your students can work together and where you can work individually to really make the most of this digital space for your classroom.